did you know this common drug comes with a black box warning from the FDA? That's the highest level warning a medication can get, and for good reason. We're talking about a potential cancer risk, nerve damage, and even life-threatening allergic reactions. Oh, and if you mix it with alcohol, let's just say it won't end well. In today's video, I'm breaking down exactly what you need to know, from the common side effects to the serious red flags you should never ignore. So stick around because your health could depend on it. So what exactly is metronidazole? Metronidazole is an antibiotic. It's used to treat skin infections, rosacea and mouth infections, including infected gums and dental abscesses. It's also used to treat conditions such as bacterial vaginosis and pelvic inflammatory disease. It's also used for infected insect bites, skin ulcers, bed sores and wounds, and to treat and prevent bacterial and parasitic infections. Metronidazole is only available on prescription. It comes as tablets, gel, vaginal gel, cream, a liquid you drink, or a suppository, which is a medicine that you push gently into your bottom. It's also given by injection, but this is usually only done in hospital. So how does it work? Metronidazole belongs to a class of drugs called nitroimidazole antimicrobials, which are drugs used to treat infections caused by bacteria and other organisms called protozoa. Metronidazole tablets work by killing the bacteria or other organisms that are causing the infection and this relieves the infection. So who may not be able to take metronidazole? Now it's not suitable for some people and to make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to metronidazole or any other medicine. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, if you have liver problems, if you're having dialysis, or if you feel you will not be able to stop drinking alcohol while using metronidazole, if you think you may have vaginal thrush, or you're due your period while on treatment if you're being considered for the metronidazole vaginal gel. So what are the common side effects? Now these include headache, loss of appetite, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea, heartburn, cramping in your stomach area, constipation or metallic taste. These effects may go away within a few days or a couple of weeks if they are mild and talk to your healthcare professional if the side effects are more severe or don't go away. So what are the serious side effects? Call your doctor right away if you think you are experiencing serious side effects and call the emergency services if you feel like your symptoms feel life-threatening or you think you're having a medical emergency. Serious side effects can include number one, nervous system effects, including seizures and encephalopathy. This is abnormal brain function. These may include many symptoms which are shown here. Number two, decreases in blood cell counts, including white blood cells and platelets, which may include symptoms such as bleeding that is hard to manage frequent infections or unusual bleeding or bruising. Number three, heart rhythm problems, which may include symptoms such as fluttering or rolling feeling in your chest or racing or skipping heartbeats. Number four, liver problems, which may include symptoms such as dark colored urine, fatigue, fever, nausea or vomiting or jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin or whites of the eyes. Number five, severe skin reactions, which may include symptoms such as blistering or peeling of the skin, fever, flu-like symptoms, or a rash that worsens. Number six, urinary problems, which may include symptoms such as incontinence, which is a lack or loss of control over urination, painful or uncomfortable urination, pressure in the pelvic area, or urinating more than usual. And finally, there could be a risk of cancer or a serious allergic reaction, which we will go into more detail in a moment. Now, I just want to mention that there are differences of side effects for males versus females. For the most part, the side effects of metronidazole for males and females are the same, 
The only real difference in side effects affects females. For instance, metronidazole increases the risk of yeast infections, which occur more often in females. Also, metronidazole can cause vaginal irritation and discharge. Now remember, these are not all the side effects of metronidazole. For a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicines packet. So what are the cautions with other medicines? Metronidazole may not mix well with some other medicines. This is not usually a problem when it's applied to the skin as a gel or cream, but it can be a problem with the tablets, suppositories, liquid or vaginal gel. Tell your doctor before you start taking or using metronidazole if you're taking any of these medicines. Warfarin, which is a medicine that helps to treat and prevent blood clots. Lithium, which is used to treat some types of mental health conditions. Disulfiram, used to help people stay off alcohol. Phenytoin or phenobarbitone, used to treat epilepsy. Cyclosporin, used to reduce the activity of the immune system. Fluorouracil or busulfan, used to treat some types of cancer. Cimetidine or any medicines that you take as a liquid if they contain alcohol. So what's the dosage? All possible dosages and drug forms won't be discussed in this video. This is because your dosage, drug form and how often you take the drug will depend on your age, the condition being treated, the severity of your condition, other medical conditions you have and how you react to the first dose. So how do you take metronidazole? You can take the immediate release tablets, which are released into the body right away. These can be taken with or without food. Taking them with food may help reduce an upset stomach. Do not take the extended release tablets with food. Now these are the tablets released into the body slowly over time. You should take them at least one hour before a meal or two hours after a meal. You can cut or crush the immediate release tablets. However, do not cut or crush the extended release tablets. And take metronidazole at the time recommended by your doctor. So now let's talk about the warnings with taking metronidazole. So let's start with the FDA warnings. Number one, metronidazole oral tablets and capsules have a black box warning. This is the most serious warning from the Food and Drug Administration. A black box warning indicates drug effects that may be dangerous. Number two, a cancer warning. Cancer was found in some animals during testing with metronidazole. There may be a similar risk in humans. Because of this risk, metronidazole should only be used to treat conditions as approved by the FDA. Number three, usage warning. To reduce the occurrence of drug-resistant bacteria, Metronidazole should only be used to treat or prevent infections that are proven or strongly suspected to be caused by bacteria. So what is the warning for the effects on the nervous system? Metronidazole oral tablets may cause certain serious conditions that affect the nervous system as we have mentioned earlier under the section of serious side effects. Now these conditions include encephalopathy, this is abnormal brain function, meningitis, this is inflammation in the brain, seizures or peripheral neuropathy, which is nerve damage in the hands and feet. And what is the allergy warning with metronidazole? Metronidazole can cause a severe allergic reaction or hypersensitivity reactions. And these symptoms can include hives that are itchy, red rash, peeling or sloughing of your skin, wheezing, fever or chills. And what is the alcohol interaction warning? You should stop using drinks that contain alcohol at least three days before starting metronidazole. Also, avoid alcohol for three more days after you stop treatment with this drug. This is because the alcohol can cause side effects when used with metronidazole, and these include nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, headaches, or flushing or flashing, this is sudden redness and warmth in your face. And if you drink alcohol, talk to your doctor about whether this drug is safe for you. And finally, there are warnings for people with certain conditions. Number one, people with liver disease. 
your liver helps process this drug. If you have severe liver disease, your liver may process this drug more slowly, and this would increase the amount of drug in your body and raise your risk of side effects. Number two, people with kidney disease your kidneys help clear this drug from your body. If you have severe kidney disease, your kidneys may process this drug more slowly. This increases the amount of drug in your body and raises the risk of side effects. Number three, in pregnancy. Talk with your doctor if you're pregnant or planning to become pregnant. Number four, if breastfeeding. Metronidazole may pass into breast milk and cause side effects in a child who is nursing. Number five, for seniors, the kidneys and liver of older adults may not work as well as they used to. This can cause your body to process drugs more slowly and as a result, more of a drug stays in your body for a longer time and this increases the risk of side effects. So now you know the side effects of metronidazole, they aren't something to take lightly. But with the right information, you can stay safe and make smart choices. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share it with someone who might benefit from this information. If you have questions or personal experiences with metronidazole, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to learn more about medication safety, check out my other videos or playlist. They'll help you stay informed and in control of your health. Thank you for watching.